Hey, what is up guys? Card Shuffler 99 here, and today we are revealing David Blaine's um he did two tricks on the Ellen show. So we're gonna go over how he did that. Uh he does have a show coming out today, or the day we post this, uh called Beyond Magic. So if you we are going to be revealing as many of those videos as we can, so uh be sure to subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for that. Don't forget about the contest. We have a contest on our channel right now. Uh you guys will still have plenty of time to enter. It's ending at the end of November. Uh all you have to do is like this video, comment I want to enter, and be subscribed to the channel, and you have a chance to win thirty dollars. Alright anyway, guys. Anyway, let's let's learn how to do it. So if you haven't already watched his video, just go watch the Ellen Show video. It's pretty cool. And we're going to use a full deck for this part. So this is the first part. Pretty simple. You use Ellen select the card. So let's see. Let's say she selected that one. Eight of clubs. <laughs> okay. Pretty simple. From there, he simply just has her place it here, right? And he simply does a double undercut to control it to the top. So if you guys don't know what that is, he simply has the selected card here, eight of clubs. And he takes half the cards, brings it to the top, and then he takes the other half of the cards, brings it to the top. So her card is on the top. After this, he does what's called a Mercury card fold. If you guys don't know what that is, it's pretty simple. Where you have the card that you want to fold on the bottom. So basically like that, right? And what happens is... Well, you have to explain uh, how he controls it. So uh, he, he no, does, he would actually have it on the top, my bad. He, he does an overhand... Control. Yeah, he does a bunch of those, but eventually it's actually still on the top, and what he does is a, a mercury fold. So he takes his index finger, and he pushes up, so it goes like that, so it bends. And this is all happening while the cards are like this. But I'm going to show you side down. He pushes up from there, so the cards would bend like that, and from there, he could simply grab the card and then fold it like that. So it would be in the force. I don't want to ruin this card. Should I ruin the card? No. All right. But so we're not, we're not going to ruin the card, but you just you, you, you just you learn fold it like that. And after it's completely folded like that, you're going to fold, fold it the horizontal way, and bam, you have a... You fold it, and then at that point, it's complete misdirection as he just slips it under the watch. Actually, but, boy, to go in a little more detail, he actually uh, he has the card. He has the whole deck in his hand, and he has the uh, card that's folded up, palmed in his hand, under, like this. And what he does is he places the whole deck into her hands, and her... Her uh, watch is on this hand, and he simply just slips his hand under and puts the card in the watch, and she has no idea. So, complete misdirection. Now, let's get to the second trick. Alright, so the second trick is a little more confusing, but we're going to explain it to the best of our ability. So, to start it off... Oh, boy. Okay, so to start it off, he simply had... He ripped a deck in half, and he had Ellen choose a card, and he had random guy choose a card and they turned out to be the same exact card same exact fit so how he did this well first he had a random deck yes uh it's basically a setup deck so after he performed his first trick he did a deck switch for an identical deck uh, and this one's going to have a setup so we're going to explain what the setup is so the setup is now he had it in a certain order we don't know the exact order but for basically, this video, basically, you guys, if you want to perform it yourself, you set up the deck, and you're going to use half the deck. Set up half the deck um, in an order you can remember. Now, for here, what we do is we have the Ace of Diamonds, Ace through King, and the Ace of Hearts, Ace through King, and we have them back to back, right? But the problem is we don't have duplicates for this, so these would be the same exact thing. Yeah, so you would want... Uh, Ace of Diamonds through Ace of King, and then another Ace set. of Diamonds through King of Diamonds, and then you would need another set of Ace through Diamond, Ace of Diamonds just, through King of Diamonds. So just pretend that's the Ace of Diamonds through King of Diamonds. Simple so, as that. So, David Blaine did not have the setup. Just to make it easier for you guys to follow, we do. We think that he just has, you know, a random order that he was able to remember. That's what he did. Yeah, so for this, we're just simplifying it, so it's just Ace to King. He probably had nine, seven, wh whatever so order you're, he could you remember. are going to need uh, duplicates. Yes. Anyway, let's learn about, let's learn why this works. So, once he's in that position, he simply has one of the piles. He probably had a lot more cards in this, and he had one on pile simply on pile. top of the yep. other. That's and it. That's the setup. He actually does tear the deck. Now, I don't know if you know this, there are people called Strongman, and... Uh, these people, they can rip like they can rip like phone books and all that. So we believe he actually did tear it. Um, clearly, he has a lot of time on his hands. Like he actually learned how to sword swallow for his show 
Um, so yeah. he has a lot of time, so I'm sure he figured out how to tear the deck. Um, but we are not going to tear the deck, so assume everything we're doing yeah, here... it's just half. Assume that is half the deck. So explain what's going on. So basically, he has half the deck. So guys, just pretend this is just half the deck. Cut it in half, and yeah, that's basically it. What he does is, after this, pretend this is half, again, half the deck again, he gives one of the halves to Ellen. And what Ellen does is, or he specifically Remember, guys, says, when we say half, not half the deck, we mean literally, literally half. Cut like you half. cut this horizontally. <laughs> so, basically, this is half, 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 half the deck. All right. So, basically, this is what happens. He has half the deck. He gives half of it to Ellen. All right. And he says, shuffle it. But by shuffling, he means simply take a bunch of cards from the top and bring it to the bottom. He specifically says, here, Adam's going to demonstrate. So basically, he says, take some cards from the top, push it to the bottom, and do this a few times. Now, this does um, not actually This disturb. doesn't shuffle the deck necessarily. Now, we'll show you guys why. So they can do this really as many times as they want, right? I'll do it one more time here. So, check it out. Now, remember, assume the hearts are diamonds. Okay, we just don't have duplicates here. So, you can see here. I actually mixed it pretty well. Now, you can see here, we have sections of the deck. Remember, these are right all the here, same. No hearts. They're right here, diamonds. you have ace through eight, right? So, if he's going through the deck, he can assume, all right, so there's a break at eight. So, you have to look for a nine, right? And what he's doing is, as he spreads through, he's looking for the card she took out. Yes, yeah, so there she took should the card be out. a break. Now, here you see a nine and a ten. So, that's where, that's where it broke. You see a jack, a queen, a king. And then you see the rest of the hearts, right? But they would be diamonds. So, now let me show you guys exactly what happens here. So, remember, assume these are all diamonds, because they have to be diamonds. Remember, this is half the deck. Basically, you have aces, and then you have the other aces. Here, so wait, let me take a card out real quick. So, basically here, once again, you have ace through king, and ace through king. So, this is what happens. She goes through the deck, right? She takes the top or bottom card. There's a reason why she has to take the top or bottom card. Because takes it won't mess card, up the order. Takes this card out. Puts it in the pocket, right? Ace of hearts. Now, remember this. Remember, we have the ace of hearts. Assume this is the ace of diamonds, okay? Yeah, this we'll is the ace there. of diamonds. That goes in the pocket. He looks through the deck. That's Alan's pocket. Look at that. The ace is gone. He sees there's no ace. Now, that can be a break where Ellen cut the cards. So, so the ace could be at the he bottom, He has but to look not. for another ace. Bam, there's another ace. Now, remember, there is a duplicate, so this is half the other ace, meaning he is going to take this ace, right, and he's going to bring it to the top of the deck or wherever he wants to do it, and he's and actually he going to force, force it. it. He, there's many ways to force a so card. So once again, guys, you have two ace of, ace of diamonds in the deck. So that's an ace of diamonds. Pretend this is ace of diamonds. He has two ace of diamonds in the deck, right? Remember, he has ace, or, you know, whatever order he has. If there's two... When you go through it, you'll see a break. There's no ace there, right? It, but you have to remember there that could be where the deck was cut, so he has to make sure there's only one ace left. There's only one ace left. He's going to take the ace. He's going to bring it to the top. And force it. And now he does this kind of force where he actually cuts it. And what it's actually like a spread force. Basically what happens is as he goes through the deck, it's a continuous motion. He pushes it out as the person tries to grab it. So what he does, once again... When the person is trying to come in, he sees they're coming in, he pushes it out, and they're going to grab that card. Now, remember, And they'll both match, because they'll both be the ace of now diamonds. Now remember, you have to assume that these are cut in half, so when he takes the other half out, it's going to be they're going to be match. Ma They're going to be matching halves. So, all right? it's really confusing, but basically he has two halves of the same deck. And remember, guys, since it's in a certain order, right... If there's a 6 here, 7, 8, 9, 10, the rest of the cards are going to be at the bottom. So the, his backup plan would have been, but she, apparently she probably cut it at the perfect spot, but his backup plan would have been to go all the way through the deck probably. So wait, can I show him real quick? So let's say there was a break, right? Let's say, um, right, 70 was here, right? 8, 9, 10, he sees all those cards are there. Let's say he had to go through the whole thing. And he notices five is missing. Like he would have to go all the way through and he notice five is missing. He would simply go back through, find the five, control to the top, and then he would simply force it again. So, so he has I'm, a gonna, backup I'm gonna run through this one more time. All really, right. really quick. Alright, this is gonna be really quick. Sorry guys, so, this is very confusing and it took us a long time to figure this out. Alright, so once again, 
Ace through King, Ace through King. He does not have it in order. Remember, he has his own order. So, uh, this is what he does. Remember, when he tears it in half, there are two halves of the Ace of Hearts left. Or Ace of Diamonds or whatever, you know, whatever. Because it's cut like this and he has two of every single card there, right? From there, you know, they mix it up. Bam, bam. He looks for a break, right? He looks for a break. He tries to find which card is missing. There should only be one left. And that's the card. So thank you guys so much for watching. And this is Card Scheffler, 99. Be sure to subscribe and peace out.